Hey guys, so today we are looking at these, which are, well, it's those. It's Takari Tomy art, um, like little Jaws figures. I have one of these for each of them. You can see they're in little bags. I uh, got these off of uh, eBay, actually. Uh, like 15 quid for the set. Uh, if that's blurred, there we go. Um, so, nice little booklet. Let's see. I had one that I opened, it opened easier than the others. There we go. Uh -huh. Right. So, all that, we have one of those. Which I'm sure you can use. All this legalese and safety stuff. Another one there. And let's try that. And, yeah. On the other side. We have, uh -huh. so we have a shark cage, Jaws 1975, submarine cable, Jaws 2, 1978, raid, Jaws 3, 1983, and battle with shark, Jaws 1975. Uh, well, they did only make three films, right? Right? Oh, okay. Okay, yes, they, they didn't pull the fourth one on. <laughs> so yes, so we have them in these little bags. Um, I'm a huge Joe's fan, and I've wanted a, a Joe's figure for a long time. Uh, we've got the other Joe's Necker did and all that sort of stuff. But, um, yeah, this is about all we're going to get of the actual shark. Um, right. So, I guess we'll do them in the order they're on the list. So, we'll start with... Shack Hage, number one. Uh, nice little sealed bags. Open really easy. Right, there there. right, it's going to be a bit of construction. So while I'm doing this, I thought I would, I, I was going to play the Jaws themes background, but then I realised that I would get copyright struck. So I'm going to hum the Jaws theme. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not going to hum it all the way through. That was just going to do a bit. That'll be the spot where most people go and turn it off. See how many do. Uh, yep, so I guess that plugs in there. There is no sort of instructions. It's in there. It's not very secure. It's not the most secure, but it is, it is in there. I guess you could maybe... I'll probably do is either put a bit PVA glue on the inside of there or uh, some paint or something just to make it a little bit sturdier. Right, so this is going to go in that way around because the lighter bit goes on the bottom and then that is going to plug in there. And you know what, for a, for a little toy shark, that is actually quite nice. It's got the, the jowls on the side there. The mouth does open. So, yeah. The tail bit there does move a little bit. A little bit of movement. Yeah. And the cage has... Wow, look how, look how much like Richard Dreyfuss that looks. The little shark victim. The cage is already built. Funny enough, there is there is a glass inside it, which we can like perspex plastic. So they've literally just painted the gold, the silver, over the edge. Right. So we put him in there, and then we put the lid on, which we're all right. The lid goes that way around. Oh, cool. So that is shark cage and shark. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Yeah, like I say, I'm going to mess about with that and see if I can get that to be a little bit tighter. Because that's about the nicest of the sharks. Does look the most like Bruce. It is the one from the first film, so. Farewell and adieu to you, fair Spanish ladies. I should have sung that while I was doing it, shouldn't I? Instead of the dirdum. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of a nice one. Right, so next we have just two. So it's this guy with the cable. Let's see if we can get this 
open. There we go. Ah. Right. Oh, interesting. So we have a bottom half with the jaws on it. The jaws of jaws. There we go. And then we have this part, which is going to plug in, I guess. Let's see. So that bit's yeah, right. That bit's going to go there like that and then this bit <laughs> if you knock it off um right that like that that like that mm. it's kind of weird because i suppose they make it in in like detachable parts so that it fits into the because these i guess these come out of any machines right they make it out of those but We'll put the, the head on first. There you go. Oh, it's nice. It's got the bill marks on it. And then I guess that goes... Ah, right. There's plugs in it. So, I'm looking at them. Probably going to go one in there. And that one. And do that. There we go. And that one in there. Again that's something else you can mess about with and get it perfect. But yeah I think that is actually quite a nice little... It has the burn marks on there like it's been burnt. The smoke is quite effective on the back. I kind of like that. That's good. Enough. You know if you've got... It's an office kind of thing isn't it? You put it on your little shelf in your office. I don't have an office but I have my, my room. Yeah I like that. Which is your favourite Jaws film? Oh, everybody always likes the first one. I do kind of, I do have a, the first is the classic and best. But I do have a soft spot for the second one. I just think it's, you know, when they make sequels, it's actually quite a good sequel because it's different enough, but has the same thing to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I kind of like that. It also reminds me of the end of the Jaws ride in Florida which was one of my favourite rides, which they took out at Universal Studios in Florida. Where my good friend Mike worked, but we'll bring Mike up again in a little bit. All right, so we shall move that over there. So next we are going to do the Raid, which is from Jaws 3. This bag I noticed had started to open, so get that. So Jaws 3 was filmed at Universal Studios, sorry, was filmed by Universal at a SeaWorld in Florida, even though it's supposed to be at the coast. So that bit goes together like that. And my good friend Mike in Florida used to work at SeaWorld. And uh, let me think, Lou, is it Lou Gossett Jr.? When he's, the, there's a bit where they're at a meeting and there's loads of art artwork at the back of them that came out of Mike's office. They need artwork. Right, have I put that? Yes, that's the wrong way round. Right, yeah, because it's there. So that goes like that. Right. And that's going to fit one way or the other. Because that's the where the where the hole is. Hmm. Ah, there we go. So the glass fits like so, and you have both on the stands. Yeah. So they they used uh, SeaWorld in Florida, and um, yeah, they left the. You've, you've seen the film, right? They left the entrance to the underwater grotto thing up for ages and uh, people used to want to go, oh, can we go in there? And it wasn't a real, wasn't a real thing. And it is really weird. That sea world now has kind of gone. They've revamped it over the years, but I can still see odd bits of it when I go. Right, so... 
There we go. That shaft fits together. That one fits together slightly nicely because it doesn't have that weird head joint there. You see, yeah. If I remember to put the white bit underneath, it does have maneuverability in the tail, which is nice. So you can put that as though it's smashing into the glass. Or you can take the glass out and have it supposed to be that way around, wouldn't it? Because then it's got the broken broken bit in front of it. Yeah, I like that. I think mean, that is kind of cool. These are really like little novelty things. I just, I just think they're really cool. Right. So finally, we have Jaws. What was it? Jaws the battle with shark. Yeah. I was, I was keeping my eye on a uh, one to six scale shark on eBay for a very long time and when I finally got enough money together to buy it the guy stopped listing it so we have the shark the fin was a little bent there so I've I've bent it back I could possibly focus there we go warm that up a little bit and get it bent into shape a little better than that but hmm. it's a, a lot smaller shark than the other ones there is no jaw on this one so this is not jaws it does have what well, looks like a movable head, but it isn't. It's locked. And this section has uh, wave effects on there with a fin, and that has the barrels on it. So I guess you plug that into there like so, and then you put this little guy in there, and the fin in there, and that is. Shark attack, which you didn't see. Which is kind of cool. It would be nice if that shark had just gone a little bit further up and that fin was a little bigger. But the, the, the idea is good. Just maybe the execution needs a bit of work. Yeah. So I am not sure which is my, I think my favorite is kind of that one. I do like, I do like Think of it, and like I say, it reminds me of Jaws the Ride at Universal Studios. Yeah, but then that one's quite nice just because it's the shark, because it's Bruce. So, that I'm going to work on that and get it so that head isn't quite as loose. Yeah. <laughs> I think these are great. They're just a great idea. They're, they're kind of a novel, silly little thing, and I like, I like novel and silly little things. So there we go. Pan back a little. That was forward. There we go. Pan out. Dun, dun. There we go. Yeah, cool little set of figures. It cost me like fifteen quid. Um, let's say try looking for uh, that on uh, eBay. Charlie Express if you feel like it. But yeah, it was like 15 quid. Some uh, some are selling for like 24, which I was like, ooh, okay. So I, I risked it with a 15 quid because I thought 15 quid, if they don't turn up, I ain't lost a lot. <laughs> you know what it's like. But yeah, I'm glad I've got them. So yeah, if you are new here, then please look down here, like, share, subscribe, do all that down there. You know what to do. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I am a big Jaws fan. The more views this gets, the more I know you guys want to see Jaws stuff, so I will do it. Yeah, right. Have a great day and a great night, and I'll see you all in the next video. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you ladies of Spain. Here's to swimming with bow-legged women.